Hello and welcome to the Principles of Programming series. In this video we're going to go over some Chapter 9 labs in Java. So before we do, please smash the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. When you subscribe to the channel, uh, you make it easier for you to navigate and also you'll get notified of any channel that you're subscribed to when new information is posted, new videos. So if you are not able to do that and you're not logged on and if you have not yet created a YouTube account, it takes about one minute to do so and it is free. That's right, folks. It is free. Let's go uh, into our video. So this video, the first uh, lab we're going to go over is uh, Chapter 9, la uh, Java Lab 9-1. And it's talks about or it shows you how to write functions with no parameters. So for our tasks, in this lab you will complete a partially pre-written Java program that indicates a function with no parameters. The program asks the user if they have pre-registered for art show tickets. If the user has pre-registered, the program should call a function named discount that displays the message. You are pre-registered and qualify for a 5% discount. If the user has not pre-registered, the program should have a function named no discount that displays the message, sorry, you did not pre-qualify and do not qualify for a 5% discount. The source code file provided by the lab includes the necessary variable declarations and input statements. Uh, comment, uh, comments are included in the file to help, help you write the remainder of the program. And then write the Java statements are indicated by the comments, Def task one, define the discount method and, and implement the body that displays the message. You are pre-registered, pre qualify for a 5% discount. Task two, define the no discount method and implement the body that displays the message. Sorry, you did not pre-register pre and do not qualify for a 5% discount. Task three, the art show program compiles and works as expected. All right, so let's look at our code and see what we already have in store for us. All right, so first thing we want to do is test it, test input here. If Y uh, call discount, else call no discount. So if yes, call discount. If no. So let's start with if back to Java register register string dot equals put this in parentheses quotes capital Y. Both of these to close out, so let's enter. Let's indent discount return and semicolon. Another space. Go back to where if do it else. And let's do no discount. Save the return and semicolon. Let's go here. Here, next to end up method, that method is completed. Done the first task. Second task, uh, next right discount method here. Let's go ahead and Let's start with this is a method public static void name of it is discounts and basically public static 
public static void discount. Okay. And underneath we'll go brackets. Our bracket to uh, system. system. Semicolon after this, and uh, that should be it. Method. I want to end right here. I'm just going to go on. Corrected that. Sorry about the space here. Right, no discount method here. Did that one. Similar to that. Let's go. Public. Void. And the discount. with our brackets and let's go this one faster copy and paste that over should be lined up you are not sorry let's start with sorry And do not qualify for that. And that should end that method with the bracket. All right, let's see what we got. Let's run this. Look at it real quick one more time. Start it on line 24. That avoid discount. Start on line 16 with the if register string equals capital Y discount, else no discount. Y, then we get down. Works that avoid discount. System on print line. Same thing there. Now we'll go ahead and run this. Bring our terminal window up so we can see what we got. And my run codes are running. All right, we did open it up in our Visual Studio. Try to run it. If our dialog box comes up, and Java ready, and there we have it. Did you pre-register? Click yes. Okay. Click click. click. Sorry, you did not pre-qualify. You did not pre-register and did not qualify for our five percent discount. Start it again. I got to get the capital Y. Capital Y. Okay. 
you are pre-registered and qualify for a 5% discount. Again, capital N. So if you don't hit capital Y, it, it, it <laughs> so that would, yeah, it works just fine on the IDE, on the, uh, Put on here, try to run it again. And just fine. So, yeah, just go with that. And if we find something, we'll go back and correct it. All right. Let's go on to our next, our next uh, program, our next lab. All right. So, our next lab is going to be Chapter 9, Java Lab 9 2, which is writing functions that require a single parameter. So let's look at our task. In this lab, you can complete a partially written Java program that includes two functions that require a single parameter. The program continuously prompts the user for an integer until the user enters zero. The program then passes the value to a function, function sums that, func that computes the sum of all the whole numbers from one up to the including the entered number. Next, the program passes the value to another function with products uh, that computes the product of all the fun all the whole numbers up to and including the entered number. The source code file provided for this lab includes the necessary input statement. Comments are included in the file to help you write the remainder of the program. Write the Java statistics or write the Java statement as indicated by the comments. Task one: Define the sums method and implement the body that computes and displays sum of all the num the whole numbers from one up to and including the entered number. Define the product uh, method and implement the body that computes and displays the product of all the whole numbers up to and including the entered number. Invoke the main method when the program is run. Right, go ahead and do that. We'll offer comments. So here we go. Got an integer and string number and number string. Okay, we got our input enter put po positive integer. Let's start right here by calling the sums. Call the method that's already written for us. All we have to do is call it. So what we'll do is uh, sums and number. There and let's go semicolon. Next the products method, the same thing. Let's just go products number semicolon. All right, let's go down. That method's over. Let's put this up and run it. And write sums method here. Let's go with brackets first. And we'll go uh, int result equals zero, semicolon, and int i, semicolon, and let's go for, do some math, algebra. I equals one and semicolon I I is less than or equal to num so we'll call that I plus plus alright so if we don't need any semicolon for that go to result plus equal I all right so clear it up that looks good so then we all have to do our output
some is. Semicolon. Go down to. Actually, that's all we need for this. this. Should be the end of that. We'll close that method out. Next thing we do is write the products method. Very similar. Start with the. did back and that let's go public class dot with sums and sums method sums and it's gonna return int with our public static void starting off time and products and this one is also going to be here but let's hang in there and get this one done so we'll do our brackets and we'll write our brackets we'll start the same thing int result is one semicolon needed. Let's get the base back. Then and let's go result. This time we're going to asterisk for equal. Plus, this time result, and the same thing, period, and this, see what I and here I'll send me to the insurance, plus, period, plus, there we go. All right, under the product method. Let's see if we can run this. Let's look at the code one more time. Oh, 
follow the summer follow the sums method here. Sums number product number. Today, uh, this time it's running. It looks like it's spinning, so it's running. So let me type in numbers. It's playing to the variable class. Look at this class. Out. Caught that. Great job. And with error, so let's run it again. Code. Let's try to calculate it. I'm gonna run out of my programs, and we'll try it in the in the, uh, the Visual Studio. Bear with me. Okay, we're gonna try to run it. Copy and paste the text or the code from the GitHub to Visual Studio. It's good. I don't have any integers in there yet. Here we go. Enter a positive integer or a zero to crit. So two. Enter. That was three, but I can two. Four. Enter. Still same. Seven. Enter. I'm just getting up there and calculating it. So that's working. So hit zero to enter. It works in Visual Studio. Can't get it to work in this one, but let's see if we can ever calculate it. So what I will need from this, if you are try to run it one more time. So you did get the product and the sum. So yeah, if you run into this, this issue or it doesn't calculate for you, what I need you to do is screenshot the code, get a, the entire code so I can see the whole thing need to take two or three screenshots that's okay and then calculate and screenshot me calculate results even if it's running and what I'll do is I'll update that grade for you if you're unable to submit sometimes it's just a timing thing it might start working it might fix it might not but don't let it slow you up if I see that you did the code correctly I'll grade that manually all right so let's go on to the next video Sorry, I mean the next lab. This one will be Chapter 9, Java Lab 9 3, which is writing functions that require multiple parameters. Okay. okay, so let's go to our task to see what we'll be doing. And here we go. In this lab, you complete a partially written Java program that includes functions that require multiple parameters or arguments. The, program's pr the program prompts the user for two numeric values. Both values should be passed to functions named calculate sum, calculate difference, and calculate product. The function computes the sum of the two values, the difference between the two values, and the product of the two values. Each function should perform the appropriate computation and display the results. The source code file provided for this lab includes the variable in, uh, initializations and the input statements. Comments are, also are included in the file to help you write the remainder of the program. So task one, write the calculate sum method, which prints the sum of the two numbers. Task two is write the calculate difference method, which prints the difference of the two numbers. Task three, write the calculate uh, me product method, which prints the product of the two methods. And task four, the product accepts two input values from a user and displays the sum difference in product. Okay, we'll just pick up our own numbers if it's going to run for us. Let's look at our code. Just go down some more. And all right, so we have our variables declared. And it looks like we're going to start on line 22. Call calculate sum. So let's jump on that. So let's calculate. Sum. It's going to be value one and value two for the second. Two. And 
semicolon. Next, we're going to call calculate difference. Uh, call the cal calculate difference uh, method here. They're all going to be value 1, value 2, because there's two numbers. Uh, value 2. And let's make a semicolon. Then calculate product here. Got it? Calculate product. Value 1, value 2. You can copy and paste those if you want. Semicolon. Alright, that's the end of that main method. So next it wants us to write, we're going to write closer. Now write the calculate sum method here. So we're going to put in a little work on this one. So public static void. Calculate. So let's calculate sum. And the numbers going to be double. So the decimals below. Number one. And double. Number two. Alright. We got that method. We're going to come down and do our bracket. Inside our bracket, go over to double equals double sum, sum, and semicolon, and then sum plus num one plus num two. So we call that, and then we'll do a printout system. Sum is capital quotes. Sum is and our space. And let's go plus sum. That's where that sum is. It's going to in. And we'll go semicolon. Alright. That's the end of that. Calculate sum method. So next, go down to write calculate difference. So we go do some calculate difference. So then we're going to do the same thing we did on the other one. Let's go replace sum. Actually, we're going to do brackets. Brackets first. Find up again. Go double correctly. Find a cut that. And let's bring it over here. Do double difference. Semicolon, double, difference, difference equals num one minus num two. Print out again. So the difference. E. Difference. Okay. Already, it's gonna hurt. Difference. Bar. 
Brackets. Double. Product. Semicolon. Product. Equal. Num one. Num two. Capital P because we started the sentence. This one's going to be replaced. Point to product. All right. So it looks like we've got that good. Let's give it one more. All right. So we went through and started line 21 or line 22. Calculate sum by your by your win value two. Calculate difference by your one value two. Calculate product by your one value. Then we came and wrote our calculate sum method. Set void calculate sum. And it's double number one, double number two. Then double sum. Sum equals number one plus number two. So my print sum is whatever the sum is. So sum is when you these numbers. For our calculate difference method, public set void calculate difference. Double number one, double number two. Double the difference, double difference. So difference equals num one minus num two. So it's my print difference is difference. So we have, and finally, product. Same thing, number one, number two. All right, this looks like it's ready to be run. Let's try it. Runs. Anything so we'll go for the calculate, go for the calculate, and I'll pull this up in uh, studio and basic, stu uh, yeah, basic studio. All right, so here's the uh, visual studio, copy and paste the code from the GitHub. Same thing, if you see anything out of whack, let me know. Same thing. You're still working on it. Let's run it first. Should be prompting me for to get the input two numbers if we did it correctly. Still waiting for that. And let's give it a, there we go. Enter first submit uh, numeric value. Let's call it four. Enter. I should say enter second uh, value five. So, sum is 7, the difference is 1, 4 minus 3, and a product, 4 times 3 is 12. So that works. Let's go back to our GitHub and see if we got any leeway or sparks or anything going on. Oh, the guy gave us 100%, so it that worked and calculated. So, that if you do the code right, you should be able to get at least get the 100% uh, on the grade. I don't have to check it for you, it'll check it itself. But, whether it runs or not in GitHub, it's a whole other story. Uh, but it, the code does work, right? So let's take one more look at it. Let's go do it over here a little bit better. All right. I don't know if you can see the line numbers. Let's calculate sum. Calculate difference. Product. So it says void. Double sum. Sum. Boom. And there we go. So thank you for joining. Um, 
If you haven't done so already, please smash the like button, uh, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can see when more videos are posted and other subjects as well, other languages, and other topics. Alright, so once again, thanks for joining. Have a wonderful day.